Today, I'm going to show you how to set up staging control using your FuelTech ECU. The first step is scroll down to Map Options. Once we do that, we'll click on Staging Control. After we've activated Staging Control, we'll go to our inputs. Here, we're going to configure a two-step button, and we're also going to configure a staging button. Once we've configured both of these, we can continue to our outputs. For this output, we're going to select Transbrake Solenoid. Okay, here is where we actually need to wire up the Transbrake itself. For that, you're going to need one of our Hella Solid State Relays. The wiring goes just like this. Pin 30 is going to be switched power from the same source that turns on the ECU. Pin 86 is going to be the output from the fuel tech activated by ground. Pin 87 is going to be the output that actually goes right to the transbrake solenoid. Once you've wired that up, we can continue up and go to our staging control feature. This is the main screen for setting up your staging control. The first feature is transmission staging intensity. This is the percentage of duty cycle we take away from 100%. I like to start with 20 here. Below that, we have PWM frequency. This is how fast those pulses are going to go on your trans brake. I like to start with 15 hertz here. Now, these values might change a little bit from car to car and depending on your transmission and what solenoid you have, so you might need to tweak these a little bit. Below that, we have the button activation mode. This is related to your trans brake two-step button and your staging control button. Depending on how you have these wired up is how you're going to configure this here. In my case, mine are activated by zero volts. Below that, we have the transbrake output activation. If you use the relay that we supplied and wired it up just like I showed you, you're going to use zero volts here. The two features underneath this are transbrake activated during and activate staging control. The two checkboxes say two-step and three-step. I like to check both of these just to make sure that it always works whether I have a three-step or two-step configured. Up in the top corner here, we have maximum time for output duration. This is a solenoid protection feature. What it allows you to do is set the maximum amount of time that your trans brake is allowed to be on, so that way you don't burn up your trans brake solenoid. Below that, we have button presses to apply additional intensity. This is a really cool feature. So let's say you're trying to stage your car and the transmission's kind of hot, so the car won't go in. You can program extra button presses here and additional intensity to be able to be added to your staging procedure to make sure that your car goes in. In this case, we have four button presses and an additional 5%. So on the fifth button press, it's going to add 5% more staging intensity to ensure that our car is going to be staged. And finally, underneath that, we have the secondary output activation. This is for quick drive, tie drive, and Bruno transmissions, where you may have a secondary solenoid to use with your trans brake. Congratulations, guys. You just set up staging control, and I'll see you on the racetrack.